Sticks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pasta Limone video recipe. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make this sensational pasta. Stay tuned because the recipe is about to start. to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you learn how to cook delicious Italian recipes. Today I'm showing you how to make this incredible easy pasta, pasta al limone, lemon pasta, and we use four ingredients to make this pasta. Very simple, extra virgin olive oil, lemons, the main part of the dish, uh, pecorino cheese or parmesan, I'm choosing pecorino and I'll tell you why, and mint. Oh yeah, I'm using mints. Stay tuned because I'm explaining to you why I'm using mints. Now, lemon pasta is a kind of dish that comes from the south part of Italy, especially from the Amalfi Coast, famous for the lemons, the tasty, beautiful lemons. And that's why Amalfi Coast is famous for limoncello. That's where it's from but also Sicily. Sicily is the biggest producer of lemons. So this pasta comes from both Sicily and Amalfi Coast. We're just using organic lemons. This is the most important thing. Use organic lemons because they can give you the flavor that you're looking for. What we're going to do for this pasta is very simple. We are starting by boiling the pasta in a large pot. I'm going to add a nice handful of rock salt. Rock salt, sea salt is what is going to give the flavor to your pasta. What pasta do we use for this recipe? I'm using spaghetti. The reason why I'm using spaghetti or linguine or any long pasta that you like, but it needs to be dry. I'm using dry spaghetti. You can use dry linguine, you can use anything dry but long because the dry pasta absorbs less sauce than a egg pasta so if you're using tagliatelle pappardelle fettuccini okay it can turn out good but it will absorb the sauce more and we'll start boiling the pasta this spaghetti takes about 10 to 12 minutes to cook okay so so the pasta is cooking my spaghetti takes 12 minutes to cook. Depends on the brand you're buying. Always read the packet, okay? Now, we need to make the sauce, and it's very, very simple. The original way, it's made with extra virgin olive oil, okay? If you don't want to use extra virgin olive oil, use about four, uh, table, um, four spoons, tablespoons of butter. But extra virgin olive oil is the one you have to use and pecorino cheese will help to make the cream the pecorino cheese and the oil mixing together will create the cream that you're looking for you can use parmesan so i'm grating beautiful pecorino and just be generous if you're asking me the amount the more the better you see here you go depends on how much pasta you are using but all I can say to you is that you need to be very, very generous. And now I'm going to add the lemon zest. So we need one entire lemon and again, a good organic lemon. And I'm going to add the zest in the pecorino. So we'll mix, it, we'll mix them together. Now this recipe, like I said, it's an authentic recipe from the southern part of Italy, but because we live in different parts of the world, including in Italy, eh? not everywhere you go the lemon is good. We need to add, we need to, 
what the recipe are. We need to do something that will allow you, me, to enjoy this recipe at its best, okay? The reason why I'm using extra virgin olive oil is because in the old days they didn't use butter. So I'm using about four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And as you can see, I am not cooking the extra virgin olive oil, okay? Because we don't want to burn the lemons, the oil. I'm adding the lemon and this is lemon rind. Now, lemon and extra virgin olive oil are two bitter ingredients. So the lemon is bitter, especially if it's not from Sorrento or from Sicily. Extra virgin olive oil, it is bitter. So that's why you can use butter instead of extra virgin olive oil. But I am using extra virgin olive oil because it's healthier and I like it more. So how am I going to balance the two bitter ingredients. What am I going to do? Well, first we are adding pecorino cheese. So that pecorino cheese is going to take over. But I'm using mint. The mint will give you the right balance and it will take this pasta to the next level. So we're gonna break it in there with your hands, of course. And as you can see, I am not cooking the olive oil yet. The pasta is boiling and it will be ready very soon, very, very soon. And I'm just putting a few leaves of mint, okay? You are asking yourself, what am I going to do with the lemon? Well, you need to get the juice from this lemon. So, we are going to cut the lemon in half, okay? We want to cut the lemon in half and we want to add the lemon juice in a beautiful mix of pecorino cheese and lemon just like that yeah this is what's going to give the flavor to your pasta the one in there and we are going to add the other half of the lemon in the sauce okay so here we have the other half of the lemon and it's gonna go in the pan with the beautiful extra virgin olive oil and lemon zest and mint. And if you're asking yourself, is it gonna be, it's gonna have a very strong flavor of lemon? Oh yeah, we are making lemon pasta. And if you don't have the flavor of the lemon in your pasta, there's no point to make it. So now it's time to put the pasta inside this saucepan. This is the moment where the magic begins, okay? So, it's time to start warming up our extra virgin olive oil, but we want this to be extremely low, very, very low. My pasta is cooked and is nice and al dente, okay? Now, we need to get the pasta and we do want to have a little bit of water in there because um, the pasta water has the starch that will help us to create the cream. Remember, we're making a cream without using cream. So the starch plays an important role in this recipe. All right, so here we have it. So here we have the pasta. I am mixing it together. I already can smell the flavors. Like I said, it's cooking slowly. Now, it is the point that we add the water, the pasta water in there. And I'm adding about, about four spoon, I will say, um, because this is gonna create the cream that we need. Four spoons in there. And here, let's mix it in there, beautiful. Oh my God, the smell. Okay, now we are going to add our sauce. So the pecorino and um, lemon. But we need to add a little bit of pasta water in the mix. So I will say two spoons, no more at this point, okay? Can you see? It's nice and creamy, okay? Let me do the fork. So 
So here we have a cream guys. Now I'm going to put this mix in there. And here we have it. And now it's time for us to mix it properly. You can tell it's changing color. Now we need to put the rest of the pecorino, okay? And that's why I said, <laughs> be generous, that's why I said don't measure how much pecorino you use. The reason why you don't want to measure it, or parmigiano, sorry, parmesan, is because you need to see how you go. And it's personal. Some people like it more cheesy, some people like it less cheesy. This is personal. But this is what's gonna make the cream for us. And again, I'm adding more mint, and now we toss it. And now I'm gonna make the cream that you want to see. The beautiful, creamy, Pasta without cream. Mm. Look at that. Is it time to serve? Oh yeah, it's time to serve. I want to show you how I like to serve it, okay? So I get a spoon in there, get a fork, and that's what you do. You do this, so you get to get the whole pasta there, see? Beautiful, nice. Silky, look at that. Look at this pasta. Let's top it off with the top of the tower. But how do you finish this dish? How do you finish this dish? Important. More pecorino cheese. Pasta limone. You guys now know how to make pasta limone. <laughs>